So I wanted to test the strength of um, these keychain carabiners. So my setup is I have a pretty heavy duty chain and some weights. So starting with 25 pounds and no issues at all, still functioning. The manufacturer says it can hold um, 50 pounds, um, so we'll see how it holds up. Well, I don't want to waste anyone's time, so rather than small increments, I jumped right to exceeding capacity. Um, we're at 55 pounds now, and everything still appears to be functioning fine. It doesn't look deformed or anything at all. Right now I have 75 pounds on it, so that's 25 pounds over the recommended capacity. That's 95 pounds now. And it's still holding up. Well, I'm about to exceed my capacity. We have 100 pounds up there. So double the recommended capacity and there's no failure yet, but um, it is getting a little deformed. But that's with 100 pounds on it. So I'm at 100 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and try to slip some additional weights in there and see what happens. So we're at 120. I just took the 120 pounds off and the carabiner rebound to its original shape. It still functions. And that was after well doubling the capacity of it. Well, here's my very non-scientific test. Um, that's what happens when you very far exceed capacity. It doesn't shatter or catastrophic failure. Um, it just bends out of shape. And in order to do that, I had to set up a farm jack. link it to a heavy anchor and that's what happens So it easily doubled the recommended capacity and still sprung back, um, but this was taken to a point of extreme, and, and that's what happens.